Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So we've talked about um, how overactive means there's too much energy flow, there's an excess of energy flow to that chakra. So since we're specifically talking about the sacral chakra, we're gonna go over some um, overactive symptoms of the sacral chakra having too much energy flow, right? So the first one I wanna talk about is codependency, right? Focusing way too much on pleasuring that other person or fulfilling that other person, but not yourself, not worrying about your needs, kind of throwing yourself under the bus uh, to make other people happy. You kind of have that I serve other people mentality, I live for other people mentality, which is great, um, but at the same time, you wanna have a healthy balance of this. You wanna be um, not so dependent on other people. You wanna be able to think for yourself and move for yourself and um, make your own decisions, right? You wanna have a nice balance between independent and codependent. So um, somebody who is way too codependent would be somebody who's kind of um, stuck in an abusive relationship and they're not really living their passion through this relationship at all. And this person kind of continues to give them negative uh, kind of situations and bring up negative vibes, I guess, throughout the relationship. And you are unable to kind of um, do what you need to do for yourself. You're kind of just stuck in that place of, um, you know, I'm trying to make them happy. I'm trying to do what they want me to do. Um, so another symptom is having a partner that uh, kind of treats you unhealthy and you sort of justify their behavior. Like you really make excuses, um, but still continue to endure it. That's like a form of codependency that we were just talking about, right? Another symptom of an overactive root chakra would be you're overly emotional. Um, you lead with your emotions, right? Um, you're not working uh, with your emotions, but you're letting your emotions just run the whole show, right? Like you're um, the little child holding the big dog on the leash and the big dog is just running around pulling you doing whatever it wants leading you wherever and you're just ah flying around holding onto this leash with the big dog that is your emotions and you are just kind of along for the ride right um that's a sign of overactive so another symptom would be being overly promiscuous because if you are being driven um by an overflow of that sacral energy um that kind of means that you're passion and connection like your desire for that passion and that connection with another person um that craving for that intimacy that's uh getting in the way that normally wouldn't be a problem for you but you might pursue those kind of sexual endeavors without thinking of the consequences you might be in a kind of a more um state of instant gratification like oh i'm just gonna go with the flow um lose the inhibitions right so one thing about the the sacral chakra it's associated closely with the element of water and this kind of means that it kind of embodies the energy of water right so like the root chakra is associated with the earth this is very solid this is a very foundational structure the earth is very just solid and grounded but the sacral chakra energy is all about the fluidity so imagine water you can't really um that's not really something that's solid you can direct it around but it's very fluid in its energy right so that's kind of the energy of the sacral chakra so you could be just going with the flow in sexual situations and sexual encounters but not really thinking of like the consequences not really if you have negative consequences based on your sexual experiences most likely you are being kind of driven by that um that desire for that passion connection with another person so being promiscuous only becomes a problem when it has unfavorable consequences, right? So such as craving more intimacy um, than your partner can give you, so you, you decide to step out on the relationship, right? Um, and kind of just break your uh, moral boundaries, ba break that relationship trust, breaking your boundi boundaries, period, in that relationship, um, that is not good. You know, craving more passion and intimacy with somebody um, so kind of like acting on these passions with somebody, um, but regretting it later, right? Or ignoring the signs of STDs, opting not to use protection, um, solely because you are being driven by those emotions and cravings. So if you come off to people um, as an extremely flirtatious kind of person, you know, if people have told you in the past, like, you're so flirty or you have flirty energy or, um, you know, if you're just kind of outgoing and people perceive your energy as being flirtatious, um, that's another sign of that uh, overactive sacral chakra, right? Over access of energy flow to that area. So another big symptom is 
you're unable to be serious in situations that call for seriousness. Kind of that Peter Pan syndrome, or you never want to grow up. You always just want to kid around. You you never want to get serious, right? And so somebody with a balanced sacral chakra will, you know, joke around and laugh and, you know, be fluid and not kind of take life so seriously. But at the same time, when it comes down to it, they can take care of business or when it comes down to it, they know when to stop laughing or stop making jokes or whatever, right? So um, joking, laughing out of uncomfortability is actually very common. Um, one of the examples is when policemen show up to the site of a fatal accident, um, if there's any witnesses, if there's any bystanders, there's always somebody talking to them that either won't stop making jokes and is acting uh, weird and laughing about the situation and, oh, well, we shouldn't have done this or, you know, whatever they were saying, or somebody who really is just like, in shock but they're like <laughs> like they cannot stop laughing and it's because that is their surprisingly healthy way of releasing those built up emotions in that sacral chakra right so i find it to be very common that men take this route um if you have an over excess uh, flow of energy to that sacral chakra a lot of the time women will take the route of you know being emotional that's where that kind of stigma comes from like oh women act crazy or it's their time of the month or whatever it's because a lot of women when they have an over access of that flow um they act emotional they let their emotions lead like the dog uh leading you on the leash right it's pulling you around everywhere but men, on the other hand, tend to often um, not be led by their emotions, but release those emotions through the awkward jokes, the uncomfortable laughter, you know, the cracking jokes in times where they're supposed to probably be serious, but they are trying to cope with it. They're trying to lighten the mood. They're trying to kind of pull themselves up out of that uh, vibration subconsciously, right? So that is why people do that. And that is a big sign of the sacral chakra being imbalanced, right? Another trait of having an overactive sacral chakra is being in a constant state of transition and changing. Um, this center is associated with the water element like I was talking about. So if you are just, you know, moving around, moving towns, moving jobs, you know, but you literally for years are just in this constant state of transition, this constant state, and you feel like you cannot kind of ground yourself and kind of cannot uh, um, commit yourself to your foundational structures, which is also where the root and the sacral kind of overlap. Um, you know, the sacral is governed by this energy of fluidity, your ability to go with the flow, right? So if you have an overactive sacral, that means you are going with the flow way too much. You cannot commit to plans. You cannot commit to dates. Um, you can basically not commit to routines or habits or anything like that because you're just in this constant state of fluidity. And most likely, if you have, like we were talking about, if you have an overactive sacral chakra with way too much energy flowing and you're just in a state of fluidity, this means uh, that your root chakra is going to be underactive because you have the sacral kind of dominating this whole uh, diameter of your body, sucking in energy and putting off energy that uh, pertains to the sacral chakra. That means you're taking away that energy from the root chakra, right? So you really want to balance those energies and the chakras um, go hand in hand. So once you start to work on one of them, all the others start to balance themselves out. So that's the awesome part. <laughs> So if you're constantly fluctuating between being motivated and being not motivated at all, we've all been there where, you know, some days we're like, I'm going to get everything done. I literally don't have enough time in my day to do all the things that I want to do that I have energy for, right? Um, or on the other hand, we've all had those days where we're just like, oh, I'm just not motivated at all. Like, I don't want to do anything. I have no ambitions, no motivation, no passion, like none of that. Um that is definitely an imbalance of the sacral chakra. Um, some of the physical manifestations of an overactive chakra, um, it could show up in UTIs. It could show up in the form of STDs. Um, so you think about an STD is the uh, energetic consequence or, you know, the energetic momentum that you built when you decided to not take precautions and really um, go with that desire, like we were talking about earlier, but ignoring all the kind of healthy things you should be taking a look at like is this a safe sexual situation for me am i going to be safe having a unprotected encounter with this person if you just kind of went with your desires in the moment and didn't care about any of that the energetic momentum that you built up uh, because of that action is getting an std maybe 
right? That is definitely an imbalance of that sacral chakra, um, any kind of bladder infections, any infections of your um, sexual organs, your reproductive organs. If you have any like ovarian cysts, um, this could be an imbalance of the sacral chakra, um, any bacterial vaginosis, any infections of the sexual organs or ailments, period, is a symptom um, of a sacral imbalance. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Make sure to subscribe, hit that little notification bell button if you have any questions, comments, or anything that contributes or you feel like uh, I'm taking away from your uh, learning style or learning development and whatnot, definitely let me know. Give me some feedback down there. And also the more you interact, the more it helps me kind of get this information out to the right ears, out to people that are ready to hear this information about our body. There is so much that we are discovering as science progresses and they can see our electromagnetic energy all the time more and more and more and now we're able to even graph these chakras and um, do aura graphs and whatnot and so we're getting more and more proof all the time you guys about the chakra systems energy our meridians so i highly recommend if you want to balance your entire life out if you want everything to be great and kosher balance your chakras you guys so thank you so much have an amazing day